Hello, my name is Christine Woodhouse and I am the team leader, horticulture team leader of the Hilltop Garden at Hyde Hall. And today I'm going to be showing you how to plant bulbs. So today we've got four different types of bulbs. We have some tulips, some daffodils, and another type of tulip, and some winter flowering irises as well. Okay, so these are the um, winter flowering iris. So they are called iris reticulata and they flower in January and February. Um, so provide a really lovely splash of colour for you in those early winter months when there isn't very much else flowering. Um, so these ones are bright blue and they only grow to about 20 centimetres high maximum. The important thing uh, for these irises is to make sure that they're not in a thick, heavy clay soil. They like to be well drained and they don't like to sit wet over the winter. So um, before I plant these, I would make sure if I have a clay soil that um, I've incorporated and dug in lots of organic matter and a little bit of, of sandy grit as well, just to help with the drainage. So I'm going to open the packet here and I've got about 15 bulbs in here. And the thing about um, when you're planting bulbs is um, don't position them all yourself one by one. I think it's really nice if you just scatter them naturally so you don't end up with squares. Um, so it looks nice and natural and amongst your plants. So it's the perfect job to do for autumn. Uh, that's the way up they go. So this is the basal plate at the bottom and that's the top. So that's the way you need to plant them. So when we're planting irises, these particular winter irises, they need to be planted five inches deep. So it's really good if you've got a trowel, it's actually got some measurements on it. So this one here has got some measurements. So it goes up to four, but I can work out what five inches is deep. So what I'm going to do is, just so that it's a natural planting, is just scatter them like that. And it just makes it a little bit more um, natural rather than forced planting. And then I'm going to put my gloves on. It's very important when you're handling soil to wear gloves. And I'm going to plant one bulb at a time. So remembering it's got to be five, five inches deep, so it's got to be quite deep. So I'm going to dig a hole one at a time from my bulbs and I'm going to remove the soil. And because they're only small, it doesn't need to be a very wide hole, just so enough so you can get, get the bulb in there. But remembering to plant to the correct depth. If you see any weeds on your way, just remove them. There you go. And see, so I've pushed the trowel right in. That's five inches deep. And now I'm going to put my, my bulb straight in the bottom, the right way up, the basal plate at the bottom. And then push it to the bottom of the hole. And then all I'm going to do is just refill the hole behind it. And then just firm it down with my hand. And that's it. And we do the same for all of them, one at a time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plant some um, narcissus, some daffodils, and some tulips together in the same um, area. Um, and the reason I'm going to do this is because we'll have a succession of flowering. So our daffodils will come up first and flower in the early spring and then our tulips will follow on sort of May, June time. So we'll get in the same area a succession of colour which will really have a really nice impact for your garden. Um, the ones I've chosen today, so we have a yellow daffodil here, uh, it's a species Narcissus and we also have um, a tulipa pretty woman which is really nice, a really nice red one there as well. Um, so this one here flowers at 40 centimetres, um, so it's not too tall, you can get a lot taller tulips. And the daffodil, which is an early flowering one, 25 centimetres high. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do similar to what I did before and I'm going to scatter them naturally. So I find it's quite important if you're, if you're planting um, bulbs like this, to have the area prepared already, so already have weeded around because um, you don't want to be having to do that at the same time really. So these are my tulips. So again we have the same uh, basal plate on the bottom, so that's where the, the roots come out. So this is the top, like the little hat. So that's the top there. So I've got my handful of tulips here and I'm going to just gently uh, scatter them around like that. And it just makes it a lot more natural. And then within them, I will do the same thing for my uh, daffodils, my narcissus. So I'm going to do the same thing with these daffodils. So you'll see these here, these are in little clusters. So there's a daffodil with lots of offsets on it here. Um, and at the bottom, the basal plates as before. And this is the top, this is where the flower stem will come out of. So I'm going to treat this exactly the same and I'm just going to um, naturally just throw them about and I think it's important to 
use the whole bag when you're doing it. Don't just do one at a time, put the whole bag out. And to do this now, I'm going to use a, a bulb planter for this one. And the reason I'm using this rather than a trowel at the moment is because this is gonna provide me with a very wide hole um, and the depth that I need um, the, the bulbs to be planted. Um, and they're quite big bulbs. So even though I could plant with a trowel if I wanted, it would take me longer. Um, but a nice little tip if you're using um, a bulb planter like this, if you do have a heavier soil, then you can end up with some of the soil being stuck inside. So a good tip is to have a stick nearby and then you can just push the soil out with the stick. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start planting my bulbs. Now the daffodil and the tulip bulbs, generally they want to be planted two and a half to three times their depth. It's about 10 centimeters, but of course it does depend on the size of your bulb because some daffodils you'll buy, they're tiny and some will be quite big. So you have to sort of judge it by what you get in your packet. So these ones here, two and a half to three times their depth, I think would be about 10 centimetres. So from the bottom, about that, that's about right. So I'm going to uh, just remove my bulb from the area and use my bulb planter into the soil. And that's going to take out my plug of soil. There you go, and it's all in here, but I have the correct size hole for my bulb. And then I can get the soil off by using my my stick here. There it is. And then all I need to do then is put the bulb in the correct way up. So with the basal plate at the bottom, and that's the top, in the bottom of the hole, and then refill it. And then just firm it down. And that's good to go. Um, also with daffodils, what you can also do um, is put them in a little clump as well. You don't need to plant them all individually. So if you did find that some went together when you, when you put them out on the ground, there's nothing to say you can't plant them together. They'll be perfectly happy in a little clump. Sometimes we've even done four or five like that as well because it just makes a really nice show. So you can be quite free with how you plant your daffodils um, and you probably would be able to get sort of um, about three daffodils in a hole of that size anyway. So I'll try another one. We'll do this one. And then just wiggle it out like that. Take the soil out. There you go. And then, oops. And then I've got my three little daffodils together. I can just push them in the hole. There you go. And I would carry on like that and I would do them all across the whole area that I've laid them out. Um, and lastly, uh, we have another type of bulb planter here. So this one here is really useful if, for example, you may have a bad back or you have trouble kneeling down, or if your soil is really heavy and you just have problems or pushing in the small bulb planter. So this one, you can use your foot and it's very useful. So I'm gonna plant one of my tulips with this one and it's exactly the same principles. I'm going to make exactly the same uh, size hole to the same depth. Um, and I will also use my little stick to get the soil out with as well. So just move this, the tulip out of the way and then depends if you're left or right handed or footed doesn't matter and then just push your foot down on it give it a little wiggle and then you can wiggle it out it's actually a lot less effort and then my soil is all in here and again use my stick there you go and I put that down and then exactly the same for the tulip there's the basal plate, so that's the bottom, so that's the top, and that goes in the bottom of the hole. And then I'll cover it over and firm it down. Well, I hope this video was, was helpful to you in the basics of planting bulbs. Um, all the tools I've used today are available in the RHS shops. Mm -hmm.